What's up everybody? So today we're gonna do some sewing. That's right, when you're a window cleaner, you are a bookkeeper. What's up big man, how are you? Hey, good to see you, neighbor. Uh, real quick, so you become a bookkeeper and you're obviously a window cleaner. Maybe you might be a power washer, a gutter cleaner. And uh, yeah, you're gonna take up sewing too, especially if you have things that are falling apart here. So, uh, Mormon has an amazing sleeve. I just love the sleeve, honestly. I love how it is. However, it's got some uh, issues here as when you're washing it, it falls apart. It's really, um, it's not like the Unger ones. The Unger ones, I mean, these are real nice on the Unger and they're just, obviously you can see they're just fraying to pieces here. And I've had this one about Mm, six months seven months something like that so take a look here and we're going to sew that on there so here we go so what i did is i just double threaded it what that means is you take the thread one piece you go through the needle and you make it the same length like this and you tie the back off and then what I'm going to do is now just go ahead and double stitching this back together. Didn't know you were going to need to pick up sewing in the window cleaning business, did you? I was actually going to go to uh, the nearest um, Joanne Fabrics and do this have them take care of it because I don't have a sewing machine and they do but I just figured I'd make a quick little video about it I wish they made this part just a little, a little bit better a little bit better they do have some quality products but maybe this here could be a little better So if you want to fast forward this, you can. This just shows you what you have to do if you're going to be buying this scrubber. Mind you, I use this every day. It's my favorite. Actually, I went to the uh, Tiger Eye or the red and white one over there. I don't know if you guys can see it on my belt. And um, it was horrible. So I definitely do love this part or this scrubber from Mormon. But I think we have to work on. I'm just doing under over and then a stitch in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. Other than that, the scrubbers really held up pretty good the side pads here I do have to trim up with the scissors once you wash it in the washer now I tumble dry everything so it's not like I'm putting this through the washer here but you I mean you're using it every day so things will definitely happen but uh, I've had that tiger one over there for gosh ever Tiger's Eye, I think it's called. I can't remember what it's called. I haven't used it in the longest time. The Unger green one, I don't know what you want to call that one. That one's pretty cool too. It reminds me of this one a lot. Obviously just a different color. The other one's green. My employee loves that one. He won't, he won't switch. Try to let him use this one to see if he wanted me to buy him one. He won't change from it. He loves the thing. All right, we're getting getting to the end here. So we're about five minutes almost into sewing. Hmm. 
Now, Mormon, if you see this, and you want to send me one for free, that'd be great. Or maybe you guys have another one. And you guys actually took this one off the market. Or at least this Velcro off the market. That'd be awesome. Send it over. So the, the point that I have to focus on is this end part. So and there you go. Now I stitched it all the way across. We should be good. I'm just going to do up under real quick here. All the way back down just to double fasten it. But some things you have to do as a window cleaner. Didn't know you'd be a Martha Stewarting the old pads here together. And you could just obviously go buy another one, but everything else on here works pretty good. Like I said, that white stuff at the ends, you know, that, that's falling off pretty good. And I've trimmed it down just because it, it just looks raggedy after a while. But the blue part holds up really well so kudos to you guys on that but we have to fix that uh, velcro that velcro it's like paper thin all right i'll go ahead and tie this off now here at the end and then how i do that is i'll come up through And I won't go, I won't take this loop all the way through. I'm gonna go up through those loops. So I'll go back through. Like so. And I'll tie off right here. There you go. There's your fix for the Mormon. And you can get needle and thread just about anywhere. I think even the dollar stores carry it or something like that. Now, I haven't had to do this on my Unger products. So, just on this one here. Do one final tie off right here. Just like so. And there we go. Fixed it in there. Stitching is obviously not the best, but it will definitely hold up better than what it was. It was going to fall right off. So there you guys go. Nine minutes later, it's fixed. Until next time.